We got a breaking story for y'all. One of the suspects in the K Street Massacre has just uh, been pronounced dead in the Sacramento County Jail. Now, Smiley Martin, one of the Martin brothers, this is getting very suspicious. When you've been to prison and you have priors, you've been in jail this long, the chances of you offering yourself are completely slim. Your brother's in there so y'all can hook up in a pen. You got action at just fighting this case and proving you innocent or getting off on the technicality still. Nobody sits in the county jail. I'm just giving you a little bit of the facts. He's pronounced dead under mysterious circumstances. Here's one of the, why this story is still unfolding. Let me tell you something about the county jail of Sacramento County. It is one of the most locked down, controlled, um, worst county jails in the world. And I'm going to tell you like this, it's quite impossible to kill yourself. Killing yourself in the county jail is just cold work for you got choked out and got murdered by somebody in that motherfucker. They don't want to go down for all of that because they don't need the bad publicity. But now, Sacramento was just voted like top 10 places to live in the world for families. Same time that Smiley Martin ended up dead. Now, some people are saying that it was foul play as far as, hey, man, what happened? That massacre, everybody in the world's talking about that. They want to make an example out of these dudes. They didn't want them just going to jail living their best life, becoming uh, famous, you know what I'm saying, getting clout and all this shit for what they did and leaving a bad mark for people to follow. They want to make an example out of these people. So as this case is one, one on and people want to know what happened on this two-year anniversary almost, exactly. One of the Smiley brothers, one of the guys that um, used that uh, gun with the... Um, with the, with, the, with the switch on it, they killed a lot of innocent people, ended up dead in the case. They was fighting the case. Now, there's two more suspects in there. So, I doubt that them being how they are and, you know, they their associations and their family, their history, the psychological factors lean more towards them, not um, this dude not killing himself. But here's one thing I found out because, you know, we follow these type of fucking criminals and shit. So one guy who just we got the guy who's a who blamed the baby dad, but he killed Misha with the shotgun. Uh, calls himself Baby Trig uh, Lee Williams. He's in jail for pipping on some young woman, trying to force her to prostitute for him. So he just got put in jail. The news supplied me with the information that Smiley Martin is in 300 pod, right? Is in, um, excuse me, 5 East 300 pod. Guess what? Guess who else is in 5 East 300 pod? Trig. So, here's one bit of evidence. Why would Crip Smiley be on the blood side in the county jail? You know what I'm saying? We piece of this pet did this this suspicious death. They're saying it's a suspicious death. He was found non-responsive. They didn't say he killed himself or anything like that. I feel like a cover up is coming. They had to they had to clean this up. They had to make this look good. They had to make an example of, for you silly motherfuckers thinking y'all could come downtown and turn this into a um a uh, 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 gang banging simulation or something like this. I mean, they have a lot uh, riding on this city downtown. This is a, like I said, a government controlled and federal city that covers a lot of things that come to um, law enforcement. So for people that you notice, you don't get a lot of anything out here from the criminal activity. You got crime out here, but you don't get a lot of criminal activity. It's different. You see what I'm saying? Especially not organized crime. They have a clamp on this. So when you come out here thinking that you finna act up, you will get a made example of. Not to mention, him being on the east side, him smiley being on the east side, man, makes him a target. Man, you know, Serge, it was a very powerful, very loved and respected person in the streets and even more in those jails. See what I'm saying? So definitely, 
I'm looking forward to getting some more information on this situation, man. You know, shout out, rest in peace to all those innocent people involved in that situation, man. This is a, uh, you know, um, growing story right now, man. And I'm, I'm, we're going to keep you posted on it, man. I'm just pointing out some of the things I noticed that he, what is the crib that's known for funking with them dudes, you, you feel me, on their side of the county jail for it. He would be a lot safer on his side around his people in this situation. You see what I'm saying? So I don't see where they tried to keep the brothers separated or some situation like that. The brothers could be in the same cell for all we care. They we got the evidence on them all. If, if anything they talk on the cell and they record it and they talk about the case, it's more evidence. So why was he why was he put on that side with the buzz if he was a crip and I know, you know, the clicks and everything else, but his brother and he got other friends in there. So for him to be completely put on that side of the county jail and making him a target is suspicious in itself. Hey, man, I smell the setup, man. You know, like I said, man, there was a lot riding on this, and they wanted to make an example out of you. If not for the city, for the people involved. Hey, man, so, hey, man, let's stay tuned in, man. This is, a um like, like I said, it's an ongoing story, man. It's They were just in reaching the prelims stages of this, and... I'm sure all sides of this wanted this to be over behind them as soon as possible, man. So, hey, man, I'm going to keep y'all posted.